Hey guys, welcome to this episode of The Rachel Cruz Show. So today we're gonna talk about something that a lot of you made New Year's goals around, and that is paying off debt. Yes, so many of you are like, I am so tired of paying these payments every single month. I just wanna keep that money instead, and you are ready to get rid of it. You want it gone and out of here, which is amazing. And I love this because for a lot of people, this is their goal. When the new year comes around, they're like, I'm ready to get my finances in order. And for so many people, it is paying off debt and becoming debt free. So you've come to the right place if that is your goal, because I'm gonna share five ways to pay off your debt fast this year. All right, are you ready? Number one, it's your mindset. Okay, this is huge because getting into debt is easy. We always say around here, you can wander your way into debt, but you cannot wander your way out. And so the idea of when you go into debt, it's like, oh yeah, I'll just sign that sheet of paper here. It doesn't take a lot of effort. And so what happens is you get sucked into that black hole of debt and payments and you think debt is a way that I have to live. And then it gets to a point for some people where they think, I don't think I can get out. Like, I don't know how to stop the cycle. I don't believe I can because of your income, the debt the debt level that you have, like whatever it is, you start to believe like, I can't do it. So number one, the mindset is you can. And once you have that belief, then I want you to go all in, all in. And what we say around here is gazelle intensity because in Proverbs, it says, if you have signed surety, my son, meaning you've gotten yourself into debt, do this deliver yourself like a gazelle from the hand of the hunter and a bird from the hand of a fowler. So a gazelle from the hand of a hunter. Well, the hunter, hunter of gazelle is the cheetah. And so there's like this great pic picture right there in the Bible that talks about when a cheetah goes after a gazelle, what is that gazelle doing? And that intensity, that running, for their life, like you are watching this thing happen. Like think about the Discovery Channel. And when you see that gazelle, the intensity that that gazelle is bringing to get out of the hands of the hunter, to get away from the cheetah, that is the intensity you have to have to get out of debt. If you have gotten yourself into debt, do this. Deliver yourself like a gazelle from the hand of the hunter. And that's what's powerful about it. And when you have this imagery, you're like, yeah, I can't just be like, oh yeah, it'd be fun to kind of get out of debt. Maybe I will, I'll put a little here and there, there. You, you're not gonna feel progress doing that. But when you actually say, okay, I'm gonna do this every single day, I'm gonna sacrifice and I'm going all in, that's when you start to see progress. And you can you know, do things like make a goal tracker for every day, listen to debt-free screams, talk to someone in your life that maybe can encourage you through it all. Look at your budget every single day. Like when you're doing this, like you're tracking transactions from every single day. Where did I spend money today? How much is left here? I mean, you are so intense. So that intensity is what's gonna help you get out of debt fast. Not just over the course of forever and ever and ever, but out of debt fast, that gazelle intensity. So that mindset is really key. So once you have that mindset, the second thing you wanna do is to use the debt snowball. So this is the most efficient way and the fastest way to get out of debt. So when people get out of debt, they kinda of look at two options. They look at paying off the highest interest rate first. And well, honestly, that's math. And mathematically, that is correct, but money is not all about math and getting out of debt isn't always about math. You really do have to say, I have to change what I've been doing and you have to feel those quick wins. So that's why the debt snowball is the best way. So where you do the debt snowball is different. You're not looking at the interest rate. You're looking at your smallest debt versus your largest debt. So I want you to list out every debt that you have, not including your mortgage and you're gonna list it out, smallest to largest, and you're gonna pay minimal payments on everything, stay current, and then you're gonna attack that smallest debt with that gazelle intensity. So that smallest debt, even if it's a, you know, a $600 Nordstrom credit card, like whatever it is, and it's like, okay, I, I'm gonna pay it off with everything, every amount of money I can find, every amount of energy I can do to make money, whatever it is, that's gonna leave as soon as possible, and you put all your effort towards that. And then once it's paid off, then you have the minimum payment that you would have been paying on that credit card. Well, all of that, that money can be rolled over to the second smallest debt. And again, the intensity is still going and you keep going and going. And what ends up happening is you create the snowball effect mathematically. So you you free up more money to go towards the next smallest debt. And not only that, but it gives you the win. You're able to say you're knocking stuff out. If you have a list, you know, you're, you're checking off those debts and you're crossing them out. Like, 
you're winning, you're making progress. And when you have progress, that allows you to go that much faster. So we have found that people that do the debt snowball in the first 90 days, they pay off $5,300 in debt. Yeah, in the first 90 days, on average, $5,300. Isn't that not amazing? And again, it's just that focused intensity and having a plan of the debt snowball. So once you're kind of doing all of that, you're gonna feel that traction. So before we go in to another way to pay off debt quickly, I wanna tell you about one of our sponsors. Are you a busy parent focused on family and faith? Well, what about finances? Times are tough, but there's a budget-friendly biblical solution to rising healthcare costs, and it's through Christian Healthcare Ministries. They're caring, cost-effective, and Christian. So to learn more, go to chministries.org slash Rachel. All right, the third thing you wanna do to get out of debt quickly is to budget. Mm -hmm. This is really gonna be your plan, you guys. This is gonna be the tool that is going to help you probably the most when it comes to getting out of debt in a tactical sense. So, you know, if you have a goal to get out of debt, you can't do that with just this idea and numbers in your head. You have to have a plan, you have to have a budget. So your budget really is your plan, knowing where your money's going, and this is gonna help you. So on your budget, you really wanna start with your four walls, and that's food, shelter, utilities, and transportation. Those are, that's your primary, and then everything else underneath is your wants, and you can kind of list those out. Also, it's gonna help you with your $1,000 emergency fund, because your $1,000 you want before you start paying off debt. So that $1,000, you're gonna be able to look again at your budget to be able to say, okay, where can I cut some stuff? You know, Where can I free up some money to get that $1,000? And then in turn, where can I cut to be able to throw money at my debt? So freeing up money, having cash available to throw out your debt is huge. So the budget, yeah, you're able to say, okay, I'm gonna cut some things out. The things that I don't necessarily need, I'm gonna cut. So whether that's entertainment, whether that's buying, you know, maybe extra clothes, maybe that's subscription services, whatever it is, you can say, what can I live without for a short season so I can pay off my debt faster? And that's what's key to be able to say, you know, I'm able to control this money that's on this sheet of paper. And for a period of time, again, this is not forever, you guys, but for a period of time, we're not gonna go out to eat. We're gonna cut the cable. We're gonna do whatever we can. We're gonna trim that budget as much as possible and throw money at this debt. All right, the fourth thing that you can do to help pay off debt fast is sell stuff. Mm -hmm. Listen, we all have crap around our house that we don't use, that we don't need. Sell it, sell it, sell it, sell it. You can get cash you know, quickly and use that cash to throw out your debt. I mean, it's amazing what small things, big things around your house, what this can do. I mean, like, oh, it, it's amazing too because you start to see, I can live without this stuff. You know, there's some stuff you have that you bought you're like, I don't need this. And even if it's just gonna bring 70 bucks, like whatever it is, it's like, just, yes, sell it, free it up, throw that money at your debt. And then what's great is once you're debt free, you can say, oh man, I really do, you know, I don't know, want that TV back in that room that we sold. Guess what? You can go buy the TV. Like you can go buy stuff, you guys, again, if you really want it. But I'm telling you, once you start selling stuff, decluttering your house, it's gonna free you up mentally and give you peace because you don't have as much stuff around the house. It's amazing. And you're making money while doing it. It's a win-win. All right, the last thing that you can do to pay off your debt quickly is to bring in more income. So get a side hustle. And this is a great way to make more money. And I know you're taking, you know, your time away from your day when you're doing this. So it is really hard. But again, it's for a period of time. I don't want you doing this forever, but to be able to say, okay, for the next six months, you know, between now and June or whatever it is, I'm gonna do this amount of work to make this much money. So whether it's driving for Lyft or delivering pizzas or babysitting or cleaning houses or dog sitting, like whatever it is, you're gonna do that amount of work, figure out, okay, I'll probably make this much if I can, which is gonna cause me to get out of debt that much faster. So whatever it is, you can just have that formula and be able to see it actually happen. And so I know time is like, precious to all of us, so it is hard to give up, but I'm telling you, if you can do it for that short amount of period, 
it's going to help you get out of debt that much faster. And there's a lot of people out there that are doing this, you guys. So find some people around you to encourage you while you're paying off your debt, right? If you're talking to people constantly, if your friends are constantly like, oh my gosh, that has to be around forever. And they're always talking about, you know, living with credit card debt and they're doing stuff that they can't afford and it's constant, constant. Find people in your life that are like, no, I'm actually gonna live below my means. I'm gonna be smart with my money. I don't want this stuff to own me. Like find those people in your life and let them encourage you, okay? And so also I would say that anyone can do this. Anyone can do this. We have seen people at every imaginable level who are doing it. And life doesn't always just happen like this, okay? You're, it's gonna go up and down, but don't get discouraged on those down slopes. Cause just know you can continue to get up and keep working keep pushing until you are debt free. And if you need some extra, extra encouragement, I really would recommend going through Financial Peace University. If you have not done it yet, it is so worth it. And it's great because there are nine courses that's gonna be able to give you the encouragement and the knowledge on how to do this stuff and everything in regards to your money. So whether it's insurance, investing, paying off debt, you get the information, it's like the information everyone needs and actually implement it and put this stuff to practice because you're gonna be able to see progress. So I'll put a link in the description for Financial Peace University, so make sure to check it out. All right, you guys, that's it. You can do this. If this was your goal this year, I believe in you. So commit to the plan, remain patient, remain diligent, and it is one step, one day at a time. Make sure to share this video with a friend who really you know, may wanna get rid of their debt and become debt free too, this would be some great encouragement for them. And remember to take control of your money and create a life you love. <laughs>